All right, well, here's some context. In the beginning, uh, I had some Microsoft games when I was a kid. Like, it was this thing called Microsoft Entertainment. And then, uh, and like, it was, it's really underrated. Like, no one, no one knows or remembers it, but Microsoft, with the help of other, with the help of outsourcing, at least, I, I'm pretty sure they outsourced uh, their games. But anyways, uh, Microsoft had a bunch of these games in the 90s. And it turns out that these games are really good. And I wanted to show everyone how good they are. I mean, they're not amazeballs, but, but still. If there are any crown hidden gems, then... Just look at what Microsoft made in the 1990s. If you're looking for a real challenge, fire away with 10 Madcap, addictive, genetically altered new games from the creator of Tetris. When I first streamed the games that I am going to stream, I was just really nervous. Like, I couldn't, I just had no confidence whatsoever. I was trying so hard to make an entertaining stream, but I just... It just barely, it just did not work out. Uh, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 games. Very basic puzzle games that, that they would pass as a mobile game or browser game nowadays. But back then, back when Adobe Flash wasn't a thing, that back when Adobe Flash wouldn't be a thing for another, like what, 10 years or so? This, this was actually something. Not only is it something, it's actually good. And it has charm. Also, by the way, did you know that uh, apparently the Microsoft The Puzzle Collection was made by the same guy that made Tetris? Like, it was... It was... It was a key point in the commercials, too. Like, made... It was made by the same guy that made Tetris. Pretty basic, but... It's actually a game. And as it, as the levels progress, it gets a lot harder. A lot more ropes, uh, that bar, this little bar thing that pushes the knots down. And if a single knot reaches the bottom, it's game over. Not to mention that the music is surprisingly good. Yeah, you need a bit of strategy. You can't just untie every knot that you can. Oh no, I'm screwed! You might be stuck if you have a sparkle bonus, an icon on the side of the rope field. Use it to change the type of knot you can untwist. Just press tab next time. Try to end the ropes with the same color since they're easier to untwist. In other words, get good, you scrub. Ah, there we are. Better. See, no need to use my extra bonuses. I can even twist. I can even twist. I can even retwist. Some of the ropes I already twisted. I already untwisted so that I can untwist other ones. Okay. Ugh, come on. Yeah, it gets a little awkward at times, but believe me, this is fun. Still, I'm a little surprised at how well this whole this uh this held up. Not this holds up. Not this holds up, it's this held up. What are you? But why don't didn't you learn grammar in school? Well, but seriously, uh as as poorly as I am doing right now. Like, you don't see stuff like this on your phone or on Steam or anything. Like, you gotta... There's actual strategy involved. Strategy and a bit of puzzle making. Well, I don't know if this is really a puzzle, but there is strategy. And that is... that. In a sense, that is a puzzle. Oh hey, I made it to level 4. First time I did that. Maybe I can get to the last level. Without any trouble. Now we're in a jungle. Is this Tarzan? Uh, I, uh, how, how's the movie Tarzan? I actually don't remember watching Tarzan. I remember playing one or two video games about Disney's Tarzan. But I'm... I'm not so sh I'm very fuzzy about the movie. Not even just- I'm not so sure, I just don't know much at all. I'm- I'm just enjoying the game. Like, 
just pure unadulterated gameplay. Just this and I need to make use of my my college degree to solve what many people couldn't solve in their lifetimes. Then again, I have yet to solve I have yet to solve a Rubik's cube. How in the world do you solve a Rubik's cube? That I will never wrap my head around. Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up big time. I screwed up really big time. Yay, he's dead! I I honestly was not expecting to get this far. It is why I'm a little flabbergasted. I don't act I don't have an actual plan. So let's see. Make these as straight as possible. So that the end will be a lot easier. There we are! Clean! Clean and simple! It's like cable management. When you arrange things, when you when things aren't drifting or twisted in the most unorthodox ways, uh turns out you get the cleanest thing that you will ever see in your life. Ugh. I have to use a bonus. I have to use more bonuses. I have to use another bonus. Quick! Or I have to use even more. Oh, this is the end. This is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Well, that was the absolute farthest that I've naturally gotten in my life. I almost dragged the giant to the castle. And another thing, you can also customize your games. You can, uh, you can turn off background music or sound effects. Not that I would want to. And of course, change your player name so that your family can see how good you are at Fringer. And, uh, and you can even char- you can even change what level you start at. Just a really nice- just a really nice brain teaser. Twelve- twelve nice brain teasers. I'm sorry if it sounds like that I'm just going full out on the nostalgia of pandering, but it's- Seriously, no one knows about this, and these- these games are legitimately good. Do, 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 do. There we are, they're blue marbles now. It's a little hard to see because I have a blue light filter on. Okay. You're blue now. Also, the music stopped. I don't want the music to stop, though. Well, I guess that's Windows 10 being... Uh, Windows 10. <laughs> now there's red, and we're in space. I know that I'm being silent, but seriously, this is fun. Like, I'm, I'm surprised people don't talk about this more often. Is it because mo people knew Microsoft- Oh, shh. Died done fucked up. Uh, but anyways, is it because- Is it because people knew Microsoft more for their, uh, for their operating systems instead of everything else that they do? Apart from Microsoft Bob, which is its own little, uh, thing. But, yeah, like, they had- Microsoft had a dictionary, and games, and a bunch of other cool stuff. And, like, no one ever talks about it. You- I, not- Sure, that works. I didn't- I didn't realize that I can kind of clear- clear off other marbles like that. Yeah, I can just change marbles. Uh, 
Is it too late for me to put some blue ones on? Ow. I don't know how this works. Well, I got a high score. Love the music. Too bad I can't hear it. Oh, now I can hear it. Okay, that's enough music. Next up, Mixed Genetics, a highly challenging game that requires concentration, element combination, and strategy. This one has a storyline. So a UFO visited and a giant pink blob arrived and he sneezed and everything. Now kangaroos have snake heads and snakes have kangaroo heads. Welcome to Mixed Genetics. Use the mouse to place three mon animals side by side in a two. Right click the middle animal to breed them. So that's why I didn't know how to play this game. You have to use right click. Five year old me did not know that there was a mouse button next to the left mouse button. Either way, and yeah, there's also the guide in case you, oh, in case if you don't know what an elephant is. But you really shouldn't need to do that. I'm only rescuing animal or elephants, but then again, elephants are endangered, so it's not that big of a deal, is it? Up oh, and yeah, sometimes, sometimes you get a mutation even. Even if you uh, have, even if you breed it correctly, because genetics. Now for rat poker, which has nothing to do with the with the card game poker. Also, I can already feel my brain starting to swell up from all this puzzle entertainment. Oh, now I see why this is rat poker because there's three of a kind and four of a kind, and later on you get full houses. Ah oh, shit, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to pick up another rat. But again, good music. Great music, even. Yeah, no, no. Shit, I... Uh-oh. I, uh... I kind of messed up a little bit, but... There we are, now things should be fine. All because of the stupid frame rate. And this, and this decades-old game. Really, there's not much else to say. Other than that there are rats. And they have giant noses. They have, like, beagle no- They have beagle noses. Like, they look a little- They look kind of like Snoopy clones. Gone horribly wrong. But believe me, it gets- When, uh, when your contraptions- When, uh, your holding mechanism gets more complicated, and levels get more complex. Uh, this game becomes really hectic. <sighs> but seriously, my brain is kind of fried from doing all of this puzzle stuff. It's a sign that I am aging. Whether that's good or bad depends on who you ask. <laughs> I mean, I know that I'm already repeating... I know I'm already repeating the first time I streamed this, which is just mostly silence and just me making really basic remarks. But at least I'm enjoying myself a lot more instead of being a really big nervous wreck. I don't know why, but I already want to stop playing. It's like I become I become so stupid. But I don't want to play even the most simple puzzle games. Uh 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 uh-oh. <sighs> Shoot. It's already starting to become a bit chaotic. There we are. Already. 
I'm already feeling nervous. I'm gonna lose, even though I'm not gonna lose. Every Because every time I say that I'm gonna lose, I'm not gonna lose. Some people really- Oh yeah, no four of a kind. Anyways. <laughs> uh, some people really like rats. Some people really hate them. I'm one of those people that aren't the biggest fan of- I'm not the biggest fan of- <sighs> I'm- I'm like- I don't know why my grammar- I don't know why my ability to comprehend grammar has deteriorated. Uh, it's, uh, let me let me try again. I'm one of those people that doesn't really like rats. Like they carry diseases, and uh, they're just they're just gross overall. There. Are you happy that I expressed distaste? for rats, despite knowing very well that some people keep rats as pets. I think the gray rat is starting to take effect. I'm not taking it. Uh, yeah, it's all it took, all it took was a single gray rat to mess things up. Get it. Wait. Oh yeah, they have, they have to fill up the, uh, they have to get clogged up in the entrance way for the game to be over. Again, I can't stress enough. This is a good game, though I think this is, uh... This is a good series of games, though I think this is not one of the... I think this is one of the lesser games on this list. Yeah, basically what you have to do is... Uh, make a s is a lot You have to align balls to make a single... to fill up a single row or column. And it's a lot easier said than done. Yeah, like, these shapes are kind of weird. And, like, if if this was Tetris, then these might be manageable, but this is not Tetris. Okay, my my head is starting to get a little light... I'm starting to get a little lightheaded trying to figure out where to put these things. Like, I'm... I actually have no idea how to do this properly. There's a tile that comes in this shape, but it never comes. It's worse. This is just worse RNG than NES Tetris. Yeah, Tetris. No, I mean Tetris. But you get the point. Oh, fuck it, just... Just end it all. End my misery. Just fuck it. Just gonna... Hurry up and end. <gasps> Whatever. I, I don't really care for this game much, to be honest. Apologies. But now for the game that I played all the time when I was a kid. Jewel Chase. Yeah, my personal favorite. Uh, you're... You're a... You're a Muppet with hair. Trying to... Trying to escape prison. And you're up against... An AI-controlled Muppet with hair. I didn't like the idea of being... ...robbed. Ha ha ha. I didn't like the idea of being robbed of an escape route, which is why I played on training mode. And in training mode, you don't have a... There is no AI to worry about. Yeah, you can only... In case if you couldn't tell, you can only move... ...onto... ...the same color as... ...the other panel. It actually makes for some really intriguing gameplay, and if you're stuck, you can just you can just wait for the other other guy to grab onto the last treasure so that you can just completely ditch him. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm blocking your way. You can't grab. Hey, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> what? You think you can go this way? Nope, nope, not a chance, buddy. Uh, uh, I'm the king of this jail. Nope. Uh, oh, let's actually play the game. Uh, how do I leave? Uh, 
Shit, I have to go in the cyan. Shit, no. Uh-oh. Hey, out of my way. Out of my way. You're not supposed to block me. All these original concepts that you never see anywhere else. I, I can't... Seriously, I can stress this. I can talk about this all day. And I will never drive home. <laughs> not even I can drive home. The fact that this is just... Just all sorts of crazy... Unique and all. But for now, I'll just shut up about it. Because I've already... Splurged on the nostalgia enough. Ah, here we are. The coin maze. The one that looks like Pac-Man. Just eat it all. Consume everything. Yeah, you can have all the... You can have those emeralds. But you cannot have the rubies. Those are mine. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. Alright, that's enough. I'm not going through all... 99 levels. Color Collision. A lively game that demands fast reflexes and a quick mind. Also, my second second favorite game. Let's play on easy. Oh, wait, no, this is... Yeah, let's play on Yerolash. The drive home that the... The inventor of Tetris is Russian. But no, I want to start at level one. Rainbow hit five circles of different colors to turn a set of... It's just... You do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You get 30... You gotta hit... 30 of the correct colors in order to progress. Yeah, of course, in easy mode, you're really slow. But... The music is really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah! And yes, that was a yeah, yeah, yeah moment there. I don't know why the sound effect for completing the bonus is yeah, yeah, yeah. I will admit that it's... A little annoying to have to wait. Oh, that's red. Anyways, it's a little annoying to have to wait for a while just to get the correct color for the sake of getting a bonus. But hey, at least you can do this. Just make a circle and create this little little fabricated blob in time and space. Oops. Got this calming music while you're slowly moving around. It's like a nice, relaxing game to play when you're, like, right after you're done with school, and you just, and you're, you just can't wait to play on your computer. You, you, you even did all of your homework. Or better yet, you have no homework. And, uh, there you are, just playing a really simple and really good puzzle game. Just sitting back and, and just let... Just sitting back with the simple stuff. No need for... No need to shoot demons or... Or like... Play with Bugs Bunny. You have the... Oh! <laughs> you have the power of the sun! Except... When you... Except for when you screw up. Oh! Arrow keys decided to not cooperate. Uh, let me get rid of the... Sticks. Oh, come on! I don't know why... This is supposed to be a ghostless keyboard. What was it? Anti-ghosting. This keyboard is supposed to have anti-ghosting. Why is it not properly responding to my uh, arrow keys? But this is easy mode. Why can't we... Why don't we speed things up a bit? Yeah, look at my score. Is it just me? Or does this... Does the medium soundtrack sound straight out of Sailor Moon? Like a scene where Sailor Moon and Darius get together. Yeah, I, I watched Sailor Moon. I watched Sa Sailor Moon when I, was, when I was a kid. I was like the only person in the entire town, in my grade at least, who watched Sa Sailor Moon. Blech. But why can't I get bonus points for... Why can't I get bonus points for... Stopping the bomb early before its fuse lights up. That's a little counterintuitive. Why can't I get yeah. two bonus points for... For, like, being the hero bef For, like... For, like, actually... Stopping... The event. Is... Does it reward heroism? Like, false heroism? Like, you, you could have stopped the... Bomb earlier, but instead... You decide to... 
you you're more interested in be becoming a part of a news article other than public safety like like freaking local or national fame is more important than actual lives at stake is that what this game is trying to teach you because it really did expect me to just weave through those giant suns. I'm a little surprised that this is such a long level. Level, I don't know how well I'm pronunciating. Like I try to, I try to record. I was recording the Ice Lightning Mage video and it seems that my pronunciation's a bit slurred, like I'm drunk or something. I don't even have, they don't even have to go all the way up for the... Shit. I used to not like this game just because it had snakes. I still do not like snakes at all. And, uh... I also met a gar- what was it? A garner snake. A garden snake? Is it- is it- what, what are those snakes called? Garner or Gardener? Either way, I met I met one of I met one of those harmless snakes at the back of the playground one time, and that just utterly freaked me out. I think that was actually another reason why I didn't play this game as much as a kid, because like I saw a snake and I thought that I was gonna I thought that it was like I thought it was just this deadly thing that's gonna just that's just gonna Bite me, even though that it was really small, and is in fact harmless. But, eh, I don't really want to play anymore. Whoa, snakes! Also, it's already been an hour and thirty-six minutes of playing puzzle games. Got to make sure that my brain doesn't. Uh, got to make sure that my brain stays agile. And now here's a more traditional puzzle game: Spring Weekend. Oh crap! I might already have ended my own game. Nope. Again, I I say that I'm screwed, but I'm not. Uh-oh. Like if I move if I move the ladybug here first, then I have to click on this to move this here, but that moves the ladybug to here. Uh so uh what do I do? Well, shoot. Uh, but now we've saved the worst for last. Muddled Casino. A rigorous strategy game that forces you to plan ahead and apply your analytical skills to win. This? Okay, so what you have to do is to move the card of the selected shape, color, and suit into this arrow. But... Uh, but... There's a bunch of other things to keep in mind. Oh, shut up. Shut shut You have to go, go, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Uh, just, I, I don't know how to explain it into words, so just watch. So here, I'm trying to, oh, no, 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 uh, reset this. Uh, uh, I'm trying to put this yellow, this yellow card into here, right? But then, uh, but if you want to move the yellow cards, you have to move this, you have to move every other yellow card. And it turns out I cannot move because this one is stuck. It cannot move, it's stuck because it's it's the boundary. You can't do that unless you right click and just, just break a window or something. Like someone brought a gun into this establishment. The best way to go about this is to make every card uh, huddled around as soon, as close together as possible, but that is much easier said than done. When, when, like, first of all, uh, if a card, you cannot move two cards in a row or column. And second, there's all, like, it's just all this weirdness that you have, it's just all this weirdness, like, you wanna, move this up, but you have to select this, but oh no, I can't because this is in the way. Just, 
I hate this game, but just for you guys, I'm gonna do it. Some move. This and that. Oh, but you would you look at that? I cannot. I, they're just, they're just everything's at the edge now, and no matter what I do, it's not really gonna work out unless it actually does. I mean, I can I can use a Joker to get points, but I. Uh, uh, gosh darn it! This is just so stupid. You have no idea. Like, you have to play this for yourself to see how utterly unintuitive this all is. Or just fucking break everything. Break it, I don't care. I tried to play legit, but I couldn't. If you have two cards that are lining the borders, if you need to move a card, but there's one card blocking each side, then you're screwed. Gotta break. Gotta just shatter. Oops. Just fucking break it. I don't give a shit. I know that I kept stammering as usual, but it was genuinely fun this time around. I don't I don't re I don't remember the last time I streamed it, but I was like I just <laughs> completely lost my nerve. I remember doing that. But now it's just, I'm just enjoying myself. Playing games, playing a childhood game, and that's that. It's a classic. It's, it's a hidden gem. I'm, I'm very surprised that people don't talk about this. Like, they talk about, like, uh, I don't know, they talk about whatever other puzzle game there was for the PC, but there's more than just shooters. Even if those sh first person shooters were really good. But either way, yeah, just, uh, I don't know how much it is on eBay, but no one really cares if you, uh, do the other method. It's, I even got it on archive.org, the same website that hosts, uh, the, uh, the Wayback Machine. Also, I happen to have a legitimate copy of the puzzle collection. That's, the disc is really scratched, but it's, it, I can install it, and it does work. But besides the point, let's end it here. Thank you for tuning in. This is Omega Nate signing out. I hope to see this stream, or at least bits of this stream, on YouTube, so that more people can learn, can have knowledge about this particular game. Microsoft Entertainment is underrated. I was going to do Explore, Explorapedia and Fine Artist, but I don't have enough time right now, so uh, see you later.